Not that I ever thought as a youngster that I, I need to sit in Nathan Burke's chair, or that this was anything that when I grew up I wanted to sit in Nathan Burke's chair. But now that I sit in it, the chances of this was so remote. I mean, the fact that there's an exhibit about Burke's, number one, and the fact that somebody would be sitting in this chair, I can imagine if you ever walked into that store and sat in this chair that you would have been treated uh, somewhere, somewhere like a mass murderer. One of the reasons that I have been involved in Burke's at all is as a columnist for the Lowell Sun and as a radio talk show host, I've referenced Burke's in sort of a comic way. When they were talking about bringing outlet stores into Lowell as a way to revitalize the city, I said, we've had an outlet store in, in Lowell for years. We've had Burke's outlet. You know, they've outlet everything but courtesy. Um, and I also used to I write columns for the Lowell Sun, which apparently the Burke's uh, used to read and get some glee out of. Uh, one that I made mention of... Uh, the week that Superman died in the comics, I I wrote I, I was writing how bad that was, and it says I knew that this was uh, that this week uh, that the Superman's dema, dema, hmm, demise was going to be different. I went to Burke's clothing store on Market Street in Lowell and was actually allowed to browse. I went to the Registry of Motor Vehicles and a lady with blue hair actually smiled to me. And I wrote that in 1992, much before Nathan Burke died, be, uh, before the legend began when it was just a uh, just. Just your average American store that didn't have courtesy. And then I also talked about a couple of our elected officials who once they went on cable TV became notorious for horrible clothing. So I talked about first Curtis LeMay, Bernie LeMoyne, and Tarsi Coolius are going to throw away their double knit suits and head to Burke's Fine Clothes Emporium on Market Street for a change of ensemble. And they've just become like a metaphor uh, for clothing. And that's how I originally started. And then as I talked to the Burke's and I started sharing recollections and, and realize that my mother, who was raised in the city of Lowell, and her mother before, Burks has been a part of it since uh, the 1940s. And then you find out that this grouchy old man who tragically sat here at the seat, I just figured he was a grouch, just like every other grouch, and now we find out that part of his grouchiness occurred as a result of, uh, uh, of the Holocaust and, and that. It kind of puts it in a different spin.